Hi, my name is Sharon Charwick. I'm an architect with HFA. I enjoy being an architect because it's a really fun, collaborative process. There's always new things out there to develop and design. There's new relationships to be made. You get to work with some really talented people. And at the end of the day, like I said, the best part is seeing it get built and seeing the people that you design the space for use it and enjoy it. And that really makes you want to get up and just continue to, to build new things. Hi, I'm Giancarlo Batazzi. I am the Structural Discipline Lead here at HFA. My favorite part of the design is right up front, sitting at the table, working with the architects, uh, working with the mechanical engineers. And really the favorite part is when you come up with a structural solution that that gets implemented and actually is exposed within the final design. Uh, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very satisfying. My name is Rebecca Wearson. I am an architect on the restaurants team and I'm currently stationed out of the Fort Worth office. My younger self would say that, you know, buildings are cool and drawing is a lot of fun, but for me it was, architecture was the ability for me to find a way to impact the society while still doing something that I love. So it's not just about social impact and it's not just about my faith and like how, what I can do for my community but it's like a tangible process on solving problems, which I love to do. And so making lists, solving problems, and knowing that what you're doing can actually help someone, whether it be the client or someone that walks into your building. Soy Saray Martinez, eh, soy una arquitecta y trabajo en la Ciudad de México. I decided to be an architect when I was back in uh, high school because I got a teacher that started teaching us to draw. He demand perfection and everybody was just, in, breaking because they couldn't keep up and I love that part to be very uh, perfectionist to, to have everything draw correctly because every line had a different meaning. An ideal client is just one that's really engaged. Someone that comes to the table that wants to be a team player that understands the challenges of the project and they're just willing to be really open with you about what they need. There's always a lot of moving parts in a project. There's budget, there's you know materials, there's the challenges of schedule and someone who can kind of be flexible and just keep the communication open and really be engaged in the process with you so you can guide them and you can offer them solutions and then get their feedback. That's when the process goes really smoothly and everyone kind of comes out really happy with the end result. My name is Greg Slaughterman. I am the Vice President of Engineering and specifically um, Mechanical, Electrical, and Plumbing. If you don't change in this environment, it's hard to succeed. Um, so, you, you know, that's for a company standpoint. If you don't accept that things are going to happen to you and changes and you're going to have hard times, if you don't adapt to them, you're not going to make it. Here at HFA, you, you have that understanding that we are one firm. And so it's exciting to see all the disciplines get excited when we win a big program or a project. Hi, I'm Andrew Akerhelm, uh, architect for the logistics team. We are growing. There's a lot of work coming. And so I've had to move from doing, a lot of doing, to teaching. And so when I move to that level, I, I am then raising the talent level up so that those that are learning and eventually the goal is that they then become leaders as well. HFA has made a very intent decision on the personal growth and the growth as a team. So you have the support for accomplishing your personal goals, getting licensed. I was able to get licensed here because I didn't have that support from other firms. And you don't really focus on yourself unless someone's constantly asking you, when are you going to reach your goal? This is really one of the first places I worked where they said, you need to do this for you and then look what you can do for everyone else. It's great to have a company that's looking out for what you can achieve on your own and then support like the leadership growth and the team growth. It, it's very unique um, and it's just such a special way that they do it.